What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Carrasco v Niang. This is the fourth episode of the series and today we're starting off by redeeming our points that we got in the last episode by buying a new bronze player and a new silver player. Let's find out who they are. So of course in the last episode we had three wins from three. Uh, Carrasco and Niang played in two of those games and played quite well in the two games as well. Earned us enough points for these new players and as you can see we're going to get two new cards to our squad. Uh, one is Deslandes, a bronze left back playing for Wolves. He's a French defender. That's why I'm buying him. Obviously, as he links with Sam Beer, who we bought in the last episode as well. And also, Rodriguez. That's, I can't, you know when you like do the rolling of the tongue with the R for the, like, the, the Latin, Rodriguez. I can't do it. I think it's like, I, I don't know how you do it. I, really, I literally do not know how you do it. Rod Rodriguez. I'm breaking up the commentary here. Yeah, just totally ignore what happened there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and buy these two players then. Uh, Rodriguez, I'm just going to pick him up for his bin, which is 800. Because I can't even want to wait for the extra 28 minutes. Um, but as for Deslandes or Deslandes, I'm so much of a cheapskate. I'm going to put in that 150 start price and not worry about paying the extra 50 coins and hope no one else buys him in the time. In the time left, I should say. I just, I literally just ended a sentence before I'd ended the sentence. All right, so now our new players are in the club. We have a little bit better chemistry for our first team right now. The most important thing for me is that Carrasco and Yang both stay on nine, and as things stand, they still are. Um, but I've been seeing as well quite a few of you guys have been suggesting me teams as well, particularly on Twitter. If you have any team suggestions for me, by the way, guys, I want to say straight away, please do send them to me. Uh, leave them in the comments or send them to me at Doclanders on Twitter. Um, I'm not very good at building squads on Ultimate Teams. So if you have any suggestions whatsoever, do feel free to leave me a comment or tweet me, and I'll definitely check them out as well. And going into our first game as well the team is getting a little bit tired I tend to rotate the team when they get into the low 80s for fitness but for the time being we'll stick with it and also Carrasco is going to be captain for this game as well so double points for Brian Carrasco in this one let's hope the Chilean can score his first goal since hmm, I can't remember was it two games ago I think it was let's see if we have a good game anyway and bank in those double points and my opponent for the first game has quite a few golds in his side. He's got Ed and Dzeko playing in the right wing, which is kind of interesting. And Wilfred Bonny is up top as well. It's a 5-2-2-1. I don't normally see teams playing five at the back in Ultimate Teams. So this could be quite an interesting game, this one. And let's see if he can stop me from getting my ninth win. No, eighth win in the series and maintaining the 100% start. Most of my wins so far have been with me on top and dominating, but I feel like this game could be quite a close one. I guess we'll have to wait and see as Castillo tries to feed Carrasco down the right-hand side. Come on, Brian, you've got so much pace, mate. You've got so much pace. Brian Carrasco coming inside, holds it up, and oh, he's surely going to slot it in. No, Mendes de Silva with a big interception, stops the ball from crossing the line and keeps it at nil-nil, and from the corner, it's going to be dealt with. Come on, Matias Fernandez down the left-hand side. My God, my opponent's got no stamina whatsoever. Koulibaly on the ball. Surely going to make it 1-0 here. There's Mbaini Yang to make it 1-0. Oh, my goodness. How have I missed that? Carrasco towards Castillo. He's got Carrasco down that right-hand side. Gives it to Brian the Beast here. Brian on the ball. Comes inside. Then a quick little Berber spin in towards Castillo. Surely to make it 1-0. Another good save. It'll drop towards Sambia. I try to roll it to Niang. And my opponent gets it clear. I've been on top in this first half, but just can't find a back of the net. Well, my opponent's done me a favour here by putting a man on the line so I can chip it into the centre and surely find someone. It'll come towards his man and there is Castillo. That works absolutely perfectly. The Chileans linking up. My opponent's gifting me that goal. How am I not leading by more than one goal? I mean, seriously, my opponent's done nothing in this one but I can't find another goal. Sambia through towards Castillo. It'll drop towards Brian who goes for goal. Over the bar. If he scores an equalising goal, I'm going to be absolutely livid, seriously. But here's Des Landers on the ball towards Sambia. Out wide is Koulibaly. Come on, let's wrap the points up, guys. I want to finish this now. Niang, double step over, comes inside and drills it in. And that will do it. Thank goodness. All right, there we go then. 2-0 the final score. Not the best of wins, but we got there in the end. Castillo flicking on a Carrasco free kick and Niang securing the points late on. Not my best performance, but the three points is all that matters. And what a shock. EA haven't given Carrasco the assist he deserves after his free kick found Castillo in the area and he made it 1-0. This is ridiculous. So I, I don't think I can give Carrasco the assist if the game doesn't, can I? I mean, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't know why I'm asking you. This is my series. I should decide, but instead I'm going to let you guys decide. Can I give Carrasco the assist in this game even though the game doesn't? Let me know in the comment section down below. For the time being, we'll leave it. And he's Carrasco in this game only got one point for the bonus clean sheet. So two in total for being captain. That's so frustrating. And Niang didn't play too well either. Just a one goal for my boy. That means he gets four points for that. And that's it. So just six points in total for the two players. What a waste of a captain's armband. 
Okay, so after the game, I've just bought a gold squad training fitness card for 950 coins. A little bit pricey, but that's the price you got to pay to replenish the energy of your team. We need to get them back to fitness, really, and that's when they'll play their best, I'm sure. And I don't mind it too much either, because obviously after the next game, if we just get one point, then we're set for a big payout by winning Division 9. And I say a big payout, and enough of a payout, I should say. And uh, that'll help us get our coins back up. So one point needed for the championship, but let's get all three and maintain our 100% start and make it nine wins from nine. And Skirtle's loan is going to expire after the game as well, so I'll have to buy a new centre-back, I think, if we get enough uh, points redeemed by Carrasco and Yang. And this is the real worry for me as well. What do I want to do going forward? Because I need to think about who my CV partnership is going to be. Like, what type of team am I trying to build here? Is it a Chilean hybrid with a, a French mix as well? I don't really know. This is why I need you guys to build me some squads and show me where I'm supposed to be going. And my opponent for this game has a 69-rated squad with just 47 chemistry. He's got Daily Blint at the back, a lone William Carvalho as well, a few bronzes in there too. I think we should be able to beat this one and get ourselves another three points. Oh, and you know what I just realised as well? I forgot to make Nian captain and take away Carrasco's armband. I mean... Is it is it cheating if I say now, just as the game's kicked off, we're going to count Niang as double points in this one? Because this will be the last game of the season, unless we lose. So, is it cheating if I say Niang can be captain for this game? Is it too late? Have I missed the window? Have I messed it up already? I don't know. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's cheating. That's cheating. I, I can't I can't give Niang the captain as the game's already started. So, he's probably going to score here and make it 1-0. And this is really going to frustrate me. As he runs through, he's surely going to make it 1-0. Rounds the goalkeeper. I'll try and put it in. I've messed it up. I can't do it, can I? I can't give Niang the captain's armband because it's just too late. You know, we're in the game now. You know, I mean, all I needed to do was shut up for five seconds and then say, right, let's make Niang captain. But I forgot all about it. It's Brian's running through. And in this game, I bet he's going to score. I bet he's going to score and make it 1-0. Carrasco goes through. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Galt's through towards Fernandez, slides it through towards Nyang. Come on, can we make it 1-0 here? Carrasco latches onto the loose ball, takes it round one. Carrasco running through. Surely this time, Brian. Thank you very much. Finds the back of the net. He won't get those double points, but we'll take the goal for him. Typical that this is the game where Carrasco doesn't get the double points, but uh, oh well, he scored. That's all that matters. He scores and we take ourselves the lead. I'm so frustrated I forgot to take the captain's armband off him and give it to my boy, but oh well, never mind. We all make mistakes. Come on, Niang, control that ball or flick it over your head. I don't mind. He keeps on going. Oh, I'm so lucky, but we'll take the goal anyway. Niang makes it too and we take ourselves an early cushion. So angry at myself though, because you only get one captain per season. And for this season, Niang's never going to be captain because we've got all about it. I say we forgot all about it. I say I forgot all about it because I'm a complete idiot. But still, here's Niang on the ball. Can he get a second goal? Comes inside like a madman. And by Niang, oh my sweet Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh my God. How is that in the world? Oh my, what's going on here? Jesus Christ. Carrasco on the ball, flicks it through towards Niang. Oh, there we go. Nice little no-look pass towards Castillo. Holds it up here, through towards Niang. Niang holds it up. Man out wide is Cooley Barley. Come on, mate. You've done nothing so far. Absolutely nothing. And that's how you make amends. Brilliant finish, 3-0. I feel like the points are secured already. And I think my opponent is going to quit as well, which is a shame because this was going to be a game where I'd surely get quite a lot of points for Niang and Carrasco. But can't do much about that. That's just how it is. We'll take the win, though, and we're up to Division 8. I started the game like a house on fire, so no real surprise my opponent decided to do a runner. But it's kind of frustrating because it limits the amount of points I could have got for Carrasco and Niang in this one. But Carrasco did get a goal, so four plus the clean sheet is five. And as for Niang, he scored a goal and got an assist as well. So that's seven points for him. So add them together, and we get 12 in total and that's for enough for another bronze player so I guess we'll take it but of course the most important thing are of course those three points we're now up to division eight with that division nine title and we get a nice three grand worth of coins for that as well and I'm going to hold off on redeeming those points just for the time being and play our first game in Division 8. But this is going to be quite interesting because we've got quite a lot of contract problems. Cater, our goalkeeper. Skirtle, our lone player, who's now gone. Fernandez, Carrasco, and Niang as well. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be quite tricky because I've only got two freebies in the club right now. So who do I give the contracts to? All right, so I just bought myself two gold shiny contracts for 250 coins each. So what I'll do is I'll give one to Fernandez. And I'll give one to Niang as well. And Brian the Beast will have to make do with a bronze one for the time being. And I'll give one to Keitu, who's been pretty solid as well. And of course, I couldn't give one to Skirtle anyway, because he's a lone player. So we'll just go ahead and quick sell him, as we don't need him anymore, obviously. 
and uh, we'll put Raph in our team just for the time being before I find someone else. All right, so first game of Division 8 then. 15 points for the title, 12 for promotion. Let's get free here and get off to a winning start. And my opponent's got a full bronze squad with a gold striker as well. 40 chemistry, 63 rating. Playing uh, lower rated teams to begin with. And it's not a real surprise that I'm still 100% playing these sort of teams because my opponents may be good, but their teams are a bit of a letdown right now and stopping them from getting anywhere. Oh, and do you know what I forgot to do as well? I forgot to take the captain's armband away from Carrasco. Could I quickly, sh could I quickly shout that Carrasco's captain now? It haven't kicked off. Carrasco's captain. Carrasco's captain. Does that count? Can I give him double points? Car I, just, I just shouted it before the game started. He's wearing the armband. Does that count? The game hadn't kicked off. Does that count? Let me... Oh, God, I'm a mess. I forgot to take the armband off Carrasco and the game hadn't kicked off. So in my opinion, that should count. That should count in my opinion. And he could be through for an assist already. Niang takes it in his stride. He's got one man to beat. He bluffs him, takes it round. No, I messed it up. That's got to count. The game had not kicked off. That has to count. Seriously, ball through. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper as well. Carrasco, can you control? No, cleared away. In my opinion, that should count. The game had not kicked off. He's still wearing the armband. I say give Carrasco the double points in this game. And he could be free to make it 1-0 here. Brian the Beast finds the back of the net. I'm counting it. I'm sorry. I'm counting it as a captain game. He's got the armband on. So I've got to take him off him like an idiot. And he scored the first goal. It's double points in my opinion. Ball through towards Niang, surely to make it 2-0 early on here. And by Niang, great save pattern. Sambia through towards Castillo, through towards Carrasco. And a great chance for LeBron to get his second goal of the game. He's running through one-on-one. -on -one. Surely, surely, surely. Good save. Carrasco in the corner, swings it into the centre. And Castillo heads it in. Oh, how is that ball not across the line? Ralph's back here. He's cleared off the line twice. Sambia through towards Koulibaly down the left-hand side. Still hasn't done anything since I bought him. Maybe this is his moment. Koulibaly still on the ball and waiting for Carrasco. Where on earth is Brian the Beast? Here he is on the volley. That's poor. Carrasco's good. Like, Carrasco is really good. But I think him being a silver does really, like, hinder him because he's just not as good as Niang. So right now, Niang is still leading by quite a few points. And it's going to be hard for Carrasco to get back in this race already. But these good performances in captain games is what's going to do it for him. He's done well to keep the ball in play there. Oh, Brian. Brian, I just slagged you off, mate. I just slagged you off. Why did I do that? Because that's a fantastic goal. And it's 2-0. What a goal by Brian the Beast. Oh, my opponent's quitting. No, why are you doing this, bruv? Seriously, you're still in this game? Well, the wheel of death has come up. So, I mean, I can only assume he's quitting. But I don't... Okay, there we go. Connection's been lost. And the match report will review something, determine outcome, I don't know. But uh, we get the win. It's another quit, two in a row. So frustrating because we were on top in that game. And we were going to score more goals, no doubt about it. And Brian could have had so more as well. But at least he got two. And so for captain Brian Carrasco then, because that's what he was. That's what he was. Um, he gets eight points for the two goals he scored. Uh, plus the 9.3. Plus the clean sheet as well. So that's 10 points for Carrasco. And that's without the captain's armband as well, which we do include. And that's double points for Brian the B. So 20 points for Carrasco in total. What a performance. But as for Niang, he got no poids whatsoever. Nothing. I think that's the first. Is it no poids? Is that what they say in another country? But anyway, nothing for Niang. Uh, Carrasco was captain, though. He was captain. Because I shouted out, Carrasco is captain before the game kicked off. So. <laughs> That's the highest my voice has ever been. So, um, yeah, 20 points in total then. And that's enough for a new goal player as well. Get in. And that will end the fourth episode of Carrasco v Niang as well, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Likes are, of course, much appreciated and really help the channel grow as well. And also, if you do have a squad built for me, for me to work towards in this series, do please send it to me on Twitter or leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try and check it out. I need as many squads as possible because I still don't know what direction to take this team in but thank you for watching the video regardless i hope you have enjoyed it if you have then please do leave a like much love to you all enjoy your sunday and i'll see you for the next episode of carrasco v niang very soon